Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Hey, look! Chen is getting ready to go on a big vacation. He seems very excited about his trip to Argentina and is hard at work packing his suitcases. It's winter here in the United States, so he's putting in warm, cozy clothes for his trip. He packs his sweaters, wool socks, jeans, and a warm jacket. And voila, he's ready to go. But check out what happens when Chen lands in Argentina. Yikes, he isn't dressed for this weather. It looks like the temperature here in January is very different from the weather back home in January. How bizarre. Chen thought it would be winter here, just like it was winter at home. What happened? Let's investigate. It all starts with the sun, the center of our solar system. Earth and the other planets orbit around our sun. That means that they travel around it. It takes one year for the Earth to make its way around the sun. This orbit is how all our weather patterns begin. Our seasons, temperatures, and amount of sunlight we get each day all are related to the Earth's orbit around the sun. In one year, we experience all of our seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And each of these seasons bring different kinds of weather. Many places experience cool weather in the fall and winter, and then warmer weather in the spring and summer. By the time Earth is back around the sun, it's time to start the pattern of seasons all over again. Some countries measure seasons differently. They have a rainy season and a dry season. Only two. Now, let's get back to Chen. Why is it winter here in the United States, but summer in Argentina, where Chen has traveled to? Take a closer look at the Earth as it orbits the sun. What do you notice? Look at the position of the Earth. It looks like it's leaning to the side. That's because it is. The Earth is tilted on an imaginary line called an axis. This tilt along with the Earth's orbit, affects the amount of sun different parts of the world get. So let's talk about Chen and his trip. The part of the Earth where Argentina is located is tilted toward the sun, which means more sunlight and hot temperatures. The United States, on the other side of the planet, is tilted away from the sun, causing cold temperatures and shorter days of winter. So you see, tilt and orbit are what cause some parts of the world to experience different seasons. Chen did not consider this when planning for his trip to the other side of the world. <laughs> oh well, I bet I'll plan better next time. Let's think about this. There are parts of the Earth that are located close to or even on our equator. The equator is an invisible line wrapped around the center of the Earth, that divides the planet into northern and southern hemispheres. The parts of the Earth on the equator always get a lot of sunlight because the tilt doesn't affect them very much. It's warm all year round near the equator. It's like a never-ending summer. How lucky! The North Pole is the point that is farthest north on our planet. When the North Pole is tilted toward the sun, something pretty amazing happens. It gets daylight all the time. That's right, 24 hours of sunlight during the summer. And if it's always sunny at the North Pole, can you guess what it's like during that time in the South Pole? Yep, complete darkness. The South Pole is tilted away from the sun, so it gets no light. But don't worry, it's not always like that. The North and South Poles follow their respective patterns and change places during the year. The other parts of the globe also follow a pattern, but it's not as extreme as the North and South Poles. The part of the Earth tilted towards the sun gets more direct sunlight. That's why it has longer days and warmer weather. And the opposite part, tilted away, has less sunlight. That's why it has shorter days and cooler weather. But this all changes as Earth keeps orbiting. Wow, we've learned some amazing things about the sunlight and the patterns of the Earth. Now we know that the orbit of Earth around the sun, along with the tilted rotation of the planet, creates the seasons 
year after year. Which season is your favorite? Is it the hot temperatures and long days of summer when your part of the earth is getting the most sunlight? Or maybe you prefer the cooler days of fall when all the leaves change to orange, yellow, and red? What about the cold winter with its snowy and short days? Or the new warmth of the spring bursting with new life? Think about it. Until next time, mighty scientists.